All right, YouTube. We're gonna try something different. Um, I'm actually cooking hot dogs. Um, didn't have Halloween party. Felt like a hot dog. So these are marinated hot dogs. Um, they're gonna marinate uh, overnight in the fridge, and um, we will. Uh, you know, see what, how they turn out. They're, they're supposed to be pretty good, but I've never tried them, so um, I've got the recipe printed out right here because it's something totally new, but we'll give them a shot. And um, so, as far as what's going in them, I mean, there's a little bit of everything. We're using Nathan's hot dogs. We've got onion powder. We've got salt. We've got uh, black pepper garlic powder, uh, chili sauce, it did say mustard, yellow mustard, I'm using uh, stone ground brown mustard, I'm just a fan, fan of the brown mustard, and then uh, brown sugar. I also am going to add just a little bit, because there's a lot of the same ingredients, uh, the Uncle Sh uh, Steve's competition pig shake. I'm going to add a little bit of that. I might even wait till I put it, uh, get ready to put them on the grill that I add this stuff at one top of them just to um, add a little bit of extra flavor. So uh, let me start getting some ingredients together and then we'll be back. So we're going to mix the ingredients together. Smells good. Alright, I'm happy with that mixture. The next we've got to take the hot dogs, the Nathan's hot dogs, and cut slits into them. And this recipe calls for eight hot dogs. Probably should have got bigger hot dogs, but Mama went out and bought them for me. And for some reason, in the uh, directions, it's actually saying to only cut two slits in it, and they should be half moon shaped. Well, as you can see, I'm cutting more than two slits in them. But they are half moon shaped, semi half moon shaped. I guess if I had some bigger hot dogs, I'd get more of a radius on them, but they're hot dogs. So we're going to do this YouTube and then we'll be back. All right, we're back. So next you take and put the hot dogs in the bag gallon Ziploc bag. I, I did cut the hot dogs a few different ways because it's, it's an experiment. So, sort of curious to see if their rationalizing of the uh, slicing of the hot dogs makes sense. I did some my own way. I am going to use some of this Uncle Steve shakes in there. I decided to um, go ahead and put it on there and let it marinate in with the other stuff. It's truly a lot of the same ingredients, but um, if it's good, I'll be happy I add it more. So then next you add in your, your uh, mixture, your marinade mixture. Really smell that chili sauce. I'm 
mix them around a little bit. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Change the recipe up, and I'm going to throw in some Old Bay hot sauce. Just to change it up a little bit. Not a whole lot. Because um, my better half is not a huge fan of real spicy, so to be honest with you, now that I'm getting older and older, I can't quite eat as much as I used to. Those of you that are 62 years old or almost 63 or older, probably understand where I'm coming from. So we're just going to mix these up in the bag a little bit. All right, YouTube. So we're back. We put these uh, marinated hot dogs uh, sit in the refrigerator overnight. And um, we're about ready to get them out on the uh, Weber. I'm using the, uh, I thought I'd just go ahead for the sake of it, uh, get them on the, uh, use the uh, Vortex on the Weber. And um, you just go ahead and give that a try and see what happens. So we're kind of wishing I had some bigger hot dogs, but you know, I'm sure everybody's aware of the fact that you you get what you can get down uh, right now and uh, be happy about it. So let's get these on a Weber and um, uh, you know, see what this marinated hot dog thing is all about. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Weber's about 350 degrees. Like I said, we're going to use the Vortex. And, um, just set these on it, these, uh, marinated hot dogs around the circle here and babysit them for a while. And as usual, I need to apologize for all that background traffic, but there's a lot I can do about it. I tried to do the the Da Vinci uh, background noise eliminator, but it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. You have to identify the sound and everything else, and I'm just not a real computer person, so we're going to go ahead and let these uh, cook on here a little bit and uh, we'll be right back okay we're back I think these things are not ready to come off I'm gonna just roll them around on the grate here a little bit get some grill marks on them I'll tell you what one thing I will say so far they definitely don't smell like no regular hot dog on the grill awesome smell Let me get these flipped around a little bit. Get some more grill marks on them. And uh, we'll take this cook inside where I don't have to deal with all this traffic noise. Okay, we're back inside. I'm telling you, these hot dogs don't smell like a normal hot dog cooking. I got one sitting here on a brioche roll. Um, no toppings or anything. I really want to taste it. Right now, when I get these, get just a piece of it tasted and get it inside to Mama. She's waiting for lunch. So let's give this shot, this a try. Oh yeah, very good. Still got the t uh, hot dog taste but you can taste all the other flavors along with it. Um, surprisingly, I really don't taste the, the uh, chili sauce quite as much as I thought I would. I'm going for a second bite. You do taste the chili sauce, but not predominantly like I thought you would. This is really good. YouTube. So there you have it. Marinated grilled hot dogs. 
I did change things up a little bit from what the uh, recipe called for and I got to read my script because it's the first time I ever cooked it so it's um, uh, not in my memory so first thing they said is they really recommend that you cook it on a uh, griddle pan a cast iron griddle pan I just used the you know the grate itself with the Weber and then um, they were just um, you know, store-bought hot dogs. I just got what I could get, and uh, it basically calls for. And I've already said this before in the beginning, uh, but I'll just repeat myself as in for the recap purposes. But half a cup of chili sauce, a tablespoon of onion powder. I'm sorry, teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One and a half tablespoons of mustard. Now I didn't use a uh, yellow mustard. I used a uh, ground stone or stone ground uh, brown mustard. Um, a tablespoon of brown sugar, half teaspoon of salt, eighth teaspoon of pepper. I used a half a teaspoon of pepper. Um, I'm just uh, a pepper fan. And then uh, added some uh, Old Steve shake to it. And also, uh, I put in at the end before in the marinating bag, uh, Old Bay hot sauce. Put all these ingredients together. You mix them all the ingredients together in a in a bowl first. Put your dogs in a um, in a, a gallon bag, and then pour in your sauce. Roll them around a little bit. Mix them up inside the bag. Uh, you can actually they say you can just marinate them for 15, 20 minutes. I wanted to get the taste. Uh, so I put them in the refrigerator in the bag zipped up uh, overnight and uh, I tell you it's not your normal hot dog uh, you can still taste the hot dog but um, it's they're really great the brioche uh, brioche roll added a little bit to it and um, it, it's just not your average hot dog I don't know what to say other than the fact try it I think you'll really enjoy it this is Lance from Sleeper Barbecue, St. Mary's County, Maryland. Thanks for watching, and uh, please, if you could subscribe, uh, click that all notifications uh, bell, and uh, click the like, the thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.